Holy shit. Dragon is in auto idle. Let's fucking do this. Holy shit. Oh, 3.4 million. Slow. Holy Please. fuck. All fuel, all oxidizer. I'm gonna try and keep myself nine. centered One in the uh, in the seconds to go till launch. In the video. Ground gas closeouts is starting. Oh fucking Jesus Christ. Sorry for swearing. Oh my god. <laughs> that was mad stuff. Falcon 9 is in startup. Dragon is in countdown. FTS is armed for launch. Under a minute now, the FTS, the flight termination system, has been armed. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. Go, 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 go. SpaceX Dragon, go, 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 go. for launch. Let's light this candle. T-minus 30 seconds. Oh, fuck. Stage one tanks pressing for flight. Let's fucking do this. Seconds. Let's do this. Let's do this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Go. Ignition. Go, go. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bottom dog. Holy shit. America has launched. One out, and so rises the new era of American space flight. And with it, the ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. Oh, fuck. Plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9 and look at them go. Falcon power telemetry nominal. M1B throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Shit. We're in the throttle locket. Reports say all systems are go. Go, go, go. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. Awesome. M1D throttle up. We're throttling Max back up to full power as we're through one Max Q. Copy, one Bravo. And we heard that one Bravo call out. That's just the second aboard zone that they're in. They'll continue to be on this uh, until the uh, first stage has done its job and they switch over to the second. At this point, Bob and Doug pulling about 2.3 Gs, 2.3 times the Earth's gravity, already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. Jeez, man. You've heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. That's getting the MVAC engine right into light. That'll come at about 2.44 into flight. Right now, everything continuing to look good. good Next good, good. major event coming up is going to be the triple. We'll have main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, oh, fuck. and ignition of the second stage engine oh, to continue Jesus. to carry astronauts into orbit. Oh, that's a cool shot. Look at that. Coming up in about 20 seconds. M M1D throttle down. Getting up to Miko, main engine cut off. We're throttling down the Merlin engines on the first stage. It's going to be nominal. And we have Miko. Miko. Awesome. Falcon stage separation confirmed. Yeah, boy. Falcon 2 Alpha. Head back ignition. Oh man, four million people in this chat. Mad, absolutely mad. Right, we have hey. stage separation confirmed. The first stage shot. beginning its flight back. The second stage being powered Damn. by that single Merlin 1D vacuum engine has ignited and is now carrying Bob and Doug into orbit. 
So they're going to continue under the power of this second stage. Stage propulsion is nominal. So it went ahead, nominal Which flight. Cut off at Seco, or second engine cut off at about 8 minutes and 44 seconds into today's flight. So a little over 5 minutes to go still on this second stage. You're going to call out two Alpha, so they're now in the longest abort zone that carries them all the way from about North Carolina up the eastern seaboard almost to Canada. Man, Things looking mad. good, though, getting good call outs, mad, mad. Propul propul propulsion on that second stage. Bob and Doug continuing to make their way into orbit. Yeah, boy. I've been following Dragon SpaceX for trajectory. a couple of years, two and a half years. Waited for this for a long time. I mean, it's nine years. Nine years, boys, since U.S. space flight from American soil. All right, here a nominal trajectory. Awesome. So Dragon pointed in the right direction, continuing to make their flight uphill. Heard acquisition of signal Bermuda. Awesome. That's one of the other ground stations that they're using to get telemetry and data back from this spacecraft. Stage two propulsion is still nominal. Like, I want to be in that dragon. I want to be in that spacecraft. Oh my god. I want to be with them. Oh my lord. Looking good, looking good. A little over four minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Bob and Doug flying at more than 5,600 miles dragon per SpaceX hour. Dragon nominal trajectory. Awesome. Already almost 200 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Nominal trajectory continuing. As the first stage, the one with the worm logo. And while they continue up, it looks like we are getting a view of the first stage as well. Yep, on your right screen, you can see that first stage with the grid fins deployed. It's making its way back to attempt to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you today. And we're just about a minute, uh, a couple minutes away from the entry burn, and that's where three of the nine Merlin engines do ignite to help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. And then after the entry burn will be the landing burn, which is just a single engine Dragon, burn. SpaceX nominal trajectory. And you heard nominal starting chill for entry burn. There's that call out. They are still on a nominal trajectory on Dragon. Still on second stage. My and that's phone's that a little bit And back so. engine on second stage yeah. on your left screen. Again, on your right screen is that first stage booster coming back towards so, our drone ship. Of this course, this will be the cherry on the cake. We're about a minute this. away from entry burn. Can land this, guys. What is this? The fifty-first, fifty-second landing. Meanwhile, that second stage the first continuing stage? to power Dragon God, number into one, orbit. Number. And if you're keeping an eye on that timer, that's going to continue to burn until eight minutes and forty-four seconds into flight. So a little over two minutes from now, we'll hear the call out. Seco will be a little unreal. A little over. good. A little over three oh, minutes man. until Dragon physically separates from the second stage of the Falcon 9 after so the upper stage gets off Dragon copies, nominal trajectory. Good stuff. Continuing to check in with Bob and Doug as they are on a nominal trajectory. Just about 10 seconds away from that first stage, starting that entry burn on your right screen. We should be able to see that view live. Stage one entry burn started. Yes. Yeah, boy. Yeah, those engines there burning. Get them burning. This burn lasts about 36 seconds long. Stage two FTS is saved. I want a mighty flight turbination system. That entry burn continues. We're just about a minute away from Seco. We'll have a number of events all happen in rapid succession. Uh, it'll Happy be the second out. engine cutoff. Oh, oh, oh. We'll be looking for that uh, stage one landing burn shortly after. Actually, just within a few yeah, seconds of each other. That looks pretty stable to me. It's such a cool view on your left screen, seeing Bob and Doug on yes. Dragon. 
Right now you can see the displays that they are seeing right now. So, features. Features. Oh, so cool. And back to all set. Yeah, we have moved into the so future. From we have pushed cut off. that boundary. This is also the point we where the future Bob and Doug are experiencing flight. their highest G-force. We're seeing the counter tick up to right about 1.8. Copy Shannon. You heard Shannon, so that just means they're in their final abort zones. If they were to abort at this point, but either be in the board to orbit or to land off the coast of Ireland, standing by for second one 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 It's near, it's near the UK. <laughs> well, let's hope that abort doesn't happen. Oh, wow, look how quiet it is there. Damn. Obviously, COVID. Confirmation of Seiko's second engine. It's weird to see it that quiet, especially for such a big event. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Dragon SpaceX nominal orbital insertion. Yes, orbit. That was really quick. Confirmation of nominal orbital insertion. Nominal orbital insertion. What you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship. Where our first stage will be. Ooh, that's a nice new animation, isn't it? Looks like we lost that live view. Come on, you have to land. We'll wait for confirmation of that landing shortly here. Yes! And there you can see on your screen, oh, finally. Falcon Damn. 9 has landed. This is the first Falcon 9 to carry humans to orbit, so very exciting awesome. for us. And as you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are still making their way to their targeted They're in orbit. orbit. First stage is landed. So exciting today. <laughs> it doesn't stop. It does not stop. Oh, All right, we deploy did now. hear again that call out. Well, Good Dragon to separate from so the second stage. Falcon 9 and Dragon right now exactly where they're supposed to be. Can we need an FRC on our recovery one? And it's right at about yeah, 12 minutes. Yeah, the Dino uh, Boy. We'll separate. Zero G indicator. Looks like we saw a zero there, G indicator floating around there. I know Bob and Doug owe us a little bit about what exactly that is that they brought up with them. Successful mm -hmm. <laughs> deploy. And before separation, before Dragon initiates separation from the second stage, they do make sure to make, they, they do ensure that the vehicle is not spinning and it is in good con condition before we separate. That's right, the upper stage does small attitude maneuver using some cold gas thrusters built into the rocket body itself. Exactly, so we do expect that separation to occur in about a minute from now, but nice. they do nice wait until they there. have full the, uh, confirmation the that trunk. it is ready Pretty to cool. separate. Such cool views. I cannot get over this view that we are seeing right now. Bob and Doug on the right screen, inside of Crew Dragon, out in space. Yeah, already 200 kilometers over planet Earth, or a little over 124 miles, traveling in excess of 2,700 meters, 27,000 meters per second, or about 16,000 miles per hour. So again, we're just standing by. That separation event should be coming up shortly. Then they'll begin a series of checks on the Draco thrusters that are going to be used to maneuver and then power Dragon Get on ready. its flight to the International Space Station. Ready for Standing deploy. by for separation. Expected loss of signal, Waltz. Fair enough. It sounds like we had an expected Can LOS loss else? of signal with one of the ground stations. And deploy! Yay! There you go! Confirmed. Dragon separation. There you go. <laughs> there is a great view right in oh, front of you. Yes. Of dragon separating. Oh yes. And there's that column. Oh boy. Dragon is now officially making its way to the International Space Station yeah, today. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Amazing. Dragon SpaceX with that separation call. Uh, we have a few words for you from our Falcon 19. Go go go. Standing by. Dragon, Chief Engineer on Dragon to Ground. Bob Doug, on behalf of the entire launch team, thanks for flying with Falcon 9 today. We hope you enjoyed the ride and wish you a great mission. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Bob. Congratulations to you and the F9 team for the first uh, human ride for Falcon 9.
and it was incredible. Uh, oh. Appreciate all the hard work, and uh, thanks for the great uh, ride to space. Copy all. Oh, I'd Good like to be proud of you guys and the rest of the team. Uh, thank you so much for what you've uh, done for us today, putting America back into low Earth orbit up from the Florida coast. Copy all. Good luck. Godspeed. All right, so Bob and Doug, Doug amazing space. Dragon SpaceX, we confirm nominal equals activation and service section Draco checkouts. Uh, nose cone deploys in progress. Copy all, we're monitoring. The core here in Hawthorne giving the crew a heads up that I've, we have confirmation the nose cone I'm is just space deploying right to that nose cone that is going amazing. to open up a little bit more than 90 And it's still got a tracking shot from the second stage as well. And that's gonna expose uh, the actual docking ring and the hatch that they're going to be going through once they attach to the International Space Station and also four of those Draco thrusters, we call them the forward bulkhead thrusters, they're going to be used for these major phase burns or firings of those thrusters to actually raise their orbit gradually over the coming hours. Also heard good activation of the ECLIS, that's the Environmental Control and I Life Support System. I think that's system. right, it's that's called a home and transfer. So once uh, now they've nice, been deployed from the second stage en route to the gonna space be station, for the next 19 um, hours until they at arrive its at the perigee space station. orbit, which is right, the exactly. lowest and part of the Falcon orbit, it'll do a burn. Done for today, but the and is then not when over. it reaches its apogee, or apoapsis, perigee is known as a periapsis, by the way, at its apoapsis it will burn again. Uh, to circularize his orbit, so then it will catch up with the space station. Morning. I think there's a bit more to it than that, but that just gives you a rough idea of what a what transfer it goes through and when it goes cool to views. the space station. I love that so we can get way. these live views here and see and watch what they're doing now that they are in orbit. Yeah, it's it's right. incredible it's to just be looking over their shoulder to be along for the amazing. ride. Amazing. That is. And we're going to be with them, and we're going to be with all of you the entire way. Uh, for their journey to oh. the space station. We're going to be covering live throughout. Well, that was Bob my Doug reaction. Obviously have a sleep period. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. Uh, I've never done anything like this before. So, um, later today before they wake up for all of their final approval.